guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a intuitive day of eating mixed with tracking, if that makes sense. So today I am not tracking my macros with a scale and um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball everything and show you what I'll be eating. So um, we'll talk about this later when I'm at work and after my workout. But for today I am just prepping up a few things. I am super lazy and I bought some like pre-made grilled chicken breasts. Um, I'm also going to be making a salad to eat and one other thing. I also made some overnight oatmeal which is in here and yeah just kind of packing what I'm feeling like eating not packing food because it fits my macros. Just kind of listening to what I'm in the mood for for once and it's kind of nice to like not use my scale to measure out every single thing I'm eating. I swear that's not mine. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at the store and it is the Zero, Pure Zero Rockstar in lemonade. So I'm going to be sipping on this for my pre-workout on my way to the gym. One other thing I want to mention that I'm bringing with me, if you guys have not been to Walmart, you need to go like now because Pumpkin pie, that's right, pumpkin pie. The last time I went grocery shopping, I bought like all of them. Like I keep going to Walmarts and Targets and depleting their stock of pumpkin pie and the apple caramel, light and fit Greek yogurts, they're so good. And can we just mention how good my fridge light is on lighting? Yeah. For today's oh, workout, we were going to focus mostly on our glutes, but also the side part of our glutes. So the, what will give us that nice round booty? Um, I started with a barbell back squat banded. And what the band does is it allows my knees to press against it and allows me to focus more on using my glutes. So I'm going lighter here and trying to go as deep as I can. I do have mobility issues, so it's hard for me to drop below parallel, but just try to really go ass to grass in order to get your glutes to fire. The next exercise we did was plate adductors. Um, yeah, adduction, since you're bringing your leg away from your body. So just rest the plate on your leg. You want to kind of bend your standing leg so you're a little bit stable. And I like to balance against a barbell or a wall and flex your foot and bring your leg up sideways. I know it sounds like a lot, it's really not that complicated, but just lift your leg up slowly and squeeze your glutes at the top. This is going to work the side of your your butt and also a little bit of your quads, I feel it. Um, maybe my quads are weak, I don't know. But I definitely feel this in the side of my butt for sure. The other exercise I did was a barbell monster walk. You can definitely do this exercise not weighted, just depends on how you feel and how stable you feel with the uh, barbell on your back. But you take little lateral steps and you want the band around your ankles and you'll definitely feel this in your glutes. And you can also see there's a slight bend in my knees. I'm not in like a full squat position, but the slight bend in my knees allows me to activate my glutes. And also if you're doing this exercise weighted, make sure you're keeping your core tight and just keeping the center part of you stable because you can feel a little unsteady moving side to side with a barbell on your back. One other exercise I like to do is like a side lateral box shuffle. It's not a box jump or anything, but you just start with one foot up on a box and the other on the floor and you're going to switch side to side. This is nice because it's a little bit of cardio but also working that side part of our glute and a little bit of your quads. And the last exercise we're going to do is lunge walks but walking backward. The main focus for this movement is strengthening our hips and using our glutes. And what's funny is when you're walking backwards in a lunge, you might find that you're a little bit slower at it. So that's just a sign that your CNS, which is just your central nervous system, is not used to firing this way. So it's good to train in different movement patterns just to get your body used to it and you'll develop your glutes better walking backwards in a lunge. Alright guys, 
guys, so I just got to work. I work two different jobs. One is I coach gymnastics and two is I work at a supplement store. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a look of what we carry. Um, I do not work at GNC or a vitamin shop. It's just a small locally owned um, like little supplement store. And yeah, so just to give you guys a brief little overview. We have these really cool bags or six pack bags. I like am obsessed with this print. Of course we have the goodies over here. We have some bars. So like I said I am not tracking my macros today. What I'm doing is I'm listening to my body. I'm going to eat intuitively. Um, I just had a leg workout. I'm feeling tired so I'm gonna have my oats right now. It's really nice not tracking. It didn't take me a freaking hour to get my stuff together. I normally will like use my food scale for everything. I'll measure out salad dressings, measure out vegetables, measure out protein, all of that and it can just get so time consuming and I didn't want to do it anymore. So I'm going to take this week off of just intuitively tracking. So what that means is I'm going to listen to my body. So whatever I want, I'll eat. And I'm going to listen to my hunger signals too. You guys saw the food that I just showed you. It's not like pizza and ice cream and all this like crazy stuff. Like I crave healthy whole foods for the most part. And that's just how I've always been. I've never really wanted like super greasy things like that. So with intuitive eating, I'm eating whole foods, foods that are going to help fuel my body not like donuts and all that because that's not what I crave. I mostly just crave whole foods which can be weird to some people but to me it's totally normal. And I'm going to plug in what I eat at the end of the day and the reason why I'm going to do this is to one, make sure I'm eating enough calories, two, make sure I'm getting enough protein, and three, I kind of want to see what my body wants without me like forcing it if that makes sense because sometimes when you're tracking your macros you'll wake up in the morning and be like oh I have to hit 200 carb and 50 fat and 150 protein and then it's like you go throughout your day and you still have 20 grams of fat left and you're drinking like olive oil to hit those numbers that's just gross and two that's not normal at all you obviously aren't craving or wanting fats, so why are you forcing yourself to eat fats, if that makes sense? And just like with carbs too, like let's say you go a day where you have more high fat, high protein meals, and at the end of the day you have like 100 carbs to eat and you have to like force feed yourself rice cakes. It just can be so stupid to me. And also it's just so time consuming to weigh everything out. Flexible dieting has worked for me and I will probably, I don't want to say always be a flexible dieter, but that will probably always be my number one approach to dieting, especially dieting down for shows. However, right now with my crazy schedule, like working two jobs, being a full-time college student, still training, I just do not have the time to pull out my scale and weigh every single thing I'm eating because it's just taking, it just takes time to like weigh out different portions of food and plug it into my fitness pal, which that's the easiest part. The hardest part for me is weighing everything out. And I just find myself not enjoying food as much because I'm so focused on the numbers and so focused on tracking. And I think I just needed to take a step back from tracking and just enjoy the off season and enjoy food for what it is. And food is fuel, and I've preached this so many times, food is fuel. Food helps you like in your workouts, helps you day to day, and food should be enjoyable. And right now, I'm just not really enjoying food, and I don't like that at all. I don't think food should cause anxiety, and with me weighing everything out. I've been tracking for two years now on my fitness pal, and it is so time consuming at times, and it is causing like stress and anxiety. So, that doesn't sound balanced to me. I'm going to take this week off, see how I do, and I'm probably still going to weigh myself because my weight doesn't really bother me like it used to when I had my eating issues in high school, but 
I'm just not going to weigh out my food. I need to take a break from that because I'm seeing the balance, the little balance teeter-totter go like this. And we are not balanced right now. I do not feel good with where I'm at with food and eating and all that. And I just want to find that nice balance and find that peace of food and just enjoy food for what it is. Like I said, I mostly like whole foods. If you're doing intuitive eating or intuitive tracking, I'm going to call it. Um, just make sure you're giving yourself good nutrients and not just eating junk because your body craves nutrients and like fruits and vegetables and protein. Like it craves those things. So make sure you're fueling it properly. Also, like I said, I'm still going to plug my numbers in at the end of the day, but I'm not weighing my stuff. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate.